Alright guys, welcome back to more PES 5 Master League. So, in the last episode, there was quite a lot of stuff happening. We were trying out new formations, it was working really well, I thought. Um, we acquired a couple of players, including Buffon. So that's something. Clichy also joined up with us as well. Rubinho went the other way to Arsenal. In this episode, we are starting this one with just the one negotiation this week. And we're going to go back in for Schneider. And I have decided to offer them um, Martins. Because I, I, we had him for a year. And I said maybe the following season, maybe he could get more game time or whatever. But do we really need that many attackers? Do we really need that many midfielders or defenders? You know, whatever. But I figured, you know what? We'd probably get maybe a bit more use out of Schneider, possibly. So, you know, maybe that one. And depending on formations, we're going to need maybe some extra midfielders because the attackers, I don't think we really need it. So we're going to apply for a five-year deal, offer 1,500 as a little extra cash. Um, salary um, 1,100 and Martins of course so that's something that we have done and another little thing that I have done as well is I have put Colaccini up for transfer. So yeah I've also put Mutu up for transfer I can't remember if I mentioned that but it, like I said it's not guaranteed that he will leave. I didn't realize he was on 1,249 a year, <laughs> um, but still that's that's nowhere near as bad as some players have been for, I mean, Ronaldo's on <laughs> 5,000 a year, so, you yeah, know. Um, but yeah, uh, Colaccini is going to be up for transfer, being absolutely brilliant for us, and he's only 30 as of right now, so he will be 31 at the start of next season. Um, but he's kind of declining, well, slightly declined a little bit. Uh, not by too much, but we do have Heitinger, we do have company as backup, etc. If we need to, somebody to fill in that role, if it happens. Like I say, it's not guaranteed, it's just to see if any offers come in. And if a right offer comes in, we'll consider it. So that's all we're going to do this episode. Not very exciting, I know. But, yeah, can't really do much with the Ronaldinho renewal at the moment. We can't offer him as a swap for anyone, so... You know, we'll see about that. Let's go to our next game. It's against Borussia Dortmund. See you there. And here we are then. Let's get going. And uh, yeah, we're at Borussia Dortmund today. And yeah, let's get cracking. Let's get out there. And I don't know. We're, we're, we're playing the 4-3-3 again. We're going to give it another go because we played two games as the 4-4-2. But we're also going to play... Uh, two, a couple of games as the 4-3-3 today as well. Um, well, we did in the last one and we're going to today. Schwartz is going to be up front. He's going to be directly up front in the three up front that is there. Rooney's going to be as a right winger in this one. We'll see how that goes. You never know. This is a, it's pre-season. It's a good chance to see. And Barbel is also going to start. And he's going to start as a left winger because he can play there. So that's um, pretty interesting in my opinion. Um... That was something we can try out. We've got Fabregas in there, and we've got Mascherano as the DMF. And, oh, this is looking pretty good. It's going to go out. Um, so, yeah, Dortmund, I don't think we played them since Season 3, I believe. Uh, in, in, well, the pre-season before that season kicked off, I believe. So it's been quite a long time, and, and, no. Apparently not. Uh, Clichy is starting this one. Buffon is also starting this one. Why not? And he's the captain as well, is Buffon. Because how many times are we probably going to see him as captain? you got to let him have captain once, even if it's just a, a you know, pre-season match. Um, on top of that, we've got... Um, I believe it's... Oh, this is good. It's Babel. Can he get there? Ah, apparently not. Um... We're also, I think Cafu, yeah, Cafu's playing this one. Um, there's a few players. Um, who is it at the back we've got? We've got Company and I think it's Cannavaro. The cliche, bit of a dodgy thing there. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to give the new guys a bit of a run out. And this could be a good start for Dortmund, but it won't be because it's picked up. And that is definitely offside there. But I thought this formation worked really well in the last one and well obviously we we know that it can work well because we've played with this formation in like season two and three and etc so we we know what it's about we know what we can do we can cause some damage if we play it right 
And in that last one, though, we didn't, obviously not playing a full strength team, but we, we I really thought we was ripping um, uh, um, Galatasaray apart. Ah, oh, it's Mascherano just lining up for that. Unbelievable. And is that, no, nah, it's not going to make its way through. It's Metzelda. Weren't we looking at Metzelda for once? I think we were looking at him once. Um... They didn't really work out. But, yeah, the, the whole Ronaldinho situation, like, he he's renewed. The thing is, though, another reason that I want to kind of test this formation out is because we've got um, the, well, the 4-3, he, he suits the 4-3-3 three, three better with the, you know, like, staying on the, um, like, the left side of that. Um, he's not starting this one, but he could perhaps come on at halftime or something. That is a header over the... Well, way over the bar, I should say. But um, you know, it, 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 it's it's an idea. He's he's on the bench today. He wasn't originally going to make the bench, but he's on the bench. So it's a interesting thing, perhaps you might call it. That's like, oh, Babel. What was I? I felt like Babel just played for that. There, he, he wanted a penalty out of that. <laughs> Um, you're not going to get it. It, it. No no point going for it in a preseason game, man. Just no. Um, so there's that. Iniesta is getting a game today. And here is Babel. Ooh, I think that's a Liverpool throw in. There he is. And this is good. It's Babel. It's Schwartz. Oh, yeah. Nice little bit of work there. Bringing it into Schwartz, he pops it away. Nicely done. He's got his plastic surgery and his makeover. He's looking great. It's just all good. You know what I mean? He's putting that wedge packet to use. So that's great to see. Um, a nice. That was some nice wet by. Was it? Was it Babble there? Yeah, it was Babble. Um. So that's kind of stuff. That's the thing I really do like Babel a lot, but I like Schwartz. Martins, even though he's great and he he scored the odd goal here and there, I know he scored. I think they were kind of important goals, weren't they? What he scored, but <laughs> you know, like he got that winning goal to win the league against like Spurs and stuff. But you know, is he really needed? Nah, he, it, it, it's it, it, it was a. How do you say it? Oh, Fabregas. It was a, a shot in the dark to see how he went. He did okay, but does he suit this team too well? Probably not. It's really competitive to get into this team. It always, to be honest, has been since around, probably around, I don't know, season four-ish time when we started acquiring more and more players, I'd say. Um... You know, I mean, I think the only players that have stayed in this team since season one are Gerard and Risa. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, I think they're, they're the only ones from the original team that um, that were here. Is Schwartz again? Ah, uh, he was he was trying it. So yeah. Oh, it's over this side. Yeah, in, rarely interested to see how clear she gets on. Um, like I say, we have acquired him. And, um, yeah, it's it's one of those... Because, like, like I say, stamina is one of those things that... I think speed is important, but I also think stamina is important. For me, those are, like, the two main features of almost any player, um, I almost think. And we haven't always signed players that have got excellent stamina and speed or, or even both you know we, I think Ivan Bronkhorst comes to mind as one of them um, and that's a nice touch by Babel that uh, he's still going it's Iniesta here it's Iniesta it's Babel uh, he's taken off the ball it's a free kick though to be fair oh there's an opportunity here and it's Mascherano ah oh, misses it was a good idea just didn't quite execute it fabregas maybe in a bit of space there mm, don't know um so yeah we're testing it out we may go back to the 442 in the next episode but i, I I'm, I'm really i'm getting addicted to 433 the the you know the score line here just says it all 
I don't I don't really want to get too addicted to it, but it may be a case of maybe we go back to this. And uh, Cafu just wondering what he wanted to do there. That's not good. Ugh. Oh, that's bad. Kalishi couldn't get in the way of that. That's not a good sign, is it? <sighs> oh, Buffon's destroyed. He, he couldn't keep a clean sheet on his first game. <laughs> but, uh, not a big deal at the end of the day, that one. Um, so, yeah. It's it, it's one of those things. Or, that Orellano, we're, we're keeping tabs on him, definitely. Clichy really should have done better there, honestly. We're keeping tabs on him. And he's one that we're going to try for. I think Inzaghi's actually negotiating with somebody, somebody at the moment. So that's maybe something that's probably not going to happen. Doesn't mean to say it can't happen in the future, though. Um, but, yeah. And, oh, that's a penalty. I played for that one. <laughs> maybe, maybe, who knows. That's a penalty. And it's going to be Rooney to take it. And Rooney dispatches it away. And we've barely seen him all game. But yeah, he's put that one away. 3-1. Quite a few goals for you in this uh, first half already. It's very nicely done. Yeah, he... Uh, he had no trouble with that. So we may uh, make some substitutes at half-time and change things around. I'm kind of liking Babel on that left side. I think he's played really well there, actually. Um, he provided that assist earlier and whatnot. Um, apart from that little blip at the back there where we conceded, pretty good in that first half. Let's move on. So yeah, second half is off. Ronaldinho is on. The first game I've seen him play in like forever. I, I can't even remember the last time he even... Did we play him towards the end of the last season or something? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. It's been that long. I remember when he joined and there was so much hype on him. And we were like, oh yeah. And I, we was playing this weird formation. I think we was playing like a free... Was it like a 3-5-2 we were playing, I think, at one point? But he kind of like had a sort of wing play about it. Um... And it sort of, it was all right in season four when we played it, but yeah, season four was such a, it was probably our worst season we've had. Um, and just, you know. Oh, ooh, is that a penalty? Oh, it is. Ronaldinho's going to get a chance. <laughs> to uh, put this one away. Is he going to do it? Oh, he is. Ooh, he's, he's back with a bang. He's, well, not really. I mean, it was a penalty, but... He, he, he tried to make his way through. He tried to get in there, to be fair to him. And uh, to be honest, thinking, thinking about the bottom right, and the keeper pretty much guessed that were... Nice penalty. Could could he salvage it? Could you know if we did play four three three, it could be a case of we keep Ronaldinho and we start playing him in that formation. But then the problem is we kind of have strikers that are maybe not going to play. It might be a case of like Mutu is kind of like a sub player for us now. It maybe just rotates. Maybe Torres would go into the middle of the three up front potentially. Have Ronaldo maybe on the left. Um, and then on the right is, uh, I don't know, but like, we got like Robin, we got maybe even Babel could play there, uh, etc. It's it's an idea. Uh, uh, could have done better. See all this space we're getting though, I'm loving this. This is what I used to love about the old formation. We could score so many goals, but I don't want to be too overpowered in a way. I want there to be almost more chance, but I want your guys' opinions of... Do we stick with this? Would you like to just see flat-out attacking football? Maybe if we do score like five or six goals every game, would you like to see that? We we haven't seen that in quite some time kind of thing. Um, I mean, I know we, we still beat teams. Oh, Iniesta. That was just an open net. 
He knew if he could control that and get it away from that defender, he had all that side of the goal to aim at and score. And he put that, just dispatched it away perfectly there. And this is fantastic. This is the old us right now, what you're seeing. This is what this team is 100% capable of in this formation. And this is exactly why I do not play it anymore because I feel it's too overpowered and I want to see closer sort of matches, sort of games. But sometimes, oh, look at that. Sometimes the argument for it is, um, sometimes it's it's a little too easy and you maybe just overpower every team. And there's no really right or wrong way you know, to any of this, to, to the formation, to the players we choose for each game, tactics, players we buy, players we sell. You can't please everyone. Everybody's got their own ideas, their own opinions of how they would do it. And it's just a little bit much sometimes. So, But, you know, we're... we're we're in the, you know, we're halfway through this uh, pre-season by the end of this game. So there's still a little time to think about things and move on with things. So, you know, just let us know, guys, what the opinions are. And that is an excellent ball there. And it's Babel, and it's Babel, and it's Ronaldinho. Oh! You see, you see, this this is exactly it. This is exactly it. Yeah, okay, we only scored two goals against um, Galatasaray. But this, the, you know what I mean? Just, I know Dortmund maybe not had the best team. And don't forget, we are into the ninth season pretty much by now. So things are going to change and teams are going to be worse. Some are going to be better than they were. This is an excellent ball through. And then just puts it into the sort of sort of the top corner in a way. But look at this six one. Do you guys want to see this more often? Possibly. I'm not saying it's going to work every. You know what I mean? Just because it's four three three doesn't mean it's going to work every game. Um, but it's it's something. Oh, Ronaldinho could have had a hat trick. See what I mean? His wages have gone down, but he could be banging in goals left, right and centre week in, week out next season for us if, if it all goes to plan. <laughs> and, oh, that's back out again. Here's Ronaldinho. He's got confidence. He's got the confidence. Oh, the pass there was a little too much. He's in his preferred position. Do you know what I mean? That's something we've never really used him in. And I will get criticised for that, but so be it. I wanted a challenge. We bought him, and then it kind of didn't work out that well. Here's Clichy. Ronaldinho. And good opportunity here, perhaps. It's Schwartz. Oh, it came to him, but he didn't get the touch right. And nice ball out wide. Here's Babel going in. Ooh. Back out again. Oh, Ronaldinho could have made something happen there. Just absolutely destroying Dortmund to do it. The uh, final 10 minutes of this game are coming up and we are going to make some changes uh, in a moment. Because why not? No, here he is again. Can he get it? No, he can't. No. I know it's just one game, but it's like this is what he could have been playing like for the past few seasons. Can that go through? No, maybe not. No, a bit of a bad play there by Clichy, but still. Here's Ronaldo. No, maybe he could have hit that actually. Ooh, brought down there. Yeah, Mafio is on. There's well, there's quite a few players that have come on now. We've brought on, um, we've brought on uh, Ronaldo. We've brought on uh, Kaiser into midfield, etc. Here's Ronaldinho once more. He's brought off the ball. Ooh, that's bad. Uh, 
I mean, okay, I can I can forgive. Oh, cliche's made up for that one there. I was, going, I was just about to say, you know, I can forgive cliche on his first game. You can't judge him too much, obviously. But, um, oh, Ronald, oh, Ronaldinho was waiting for the header there. I think he scored a header for us back in is it like season five? I think it was season five. Okay, he's losing some of these battles, but he's he's played well in the time he's been on. And Buffon. Oh, he's got out to that just in time. Oh, and that is the game there. Really well. Ronaldinho could have had more goals. 6-1. You can't ask for much more, can you? Well, let's see what happens with the transfers this episode. And, yeah, time's running out to think, to think about our game plan for the season. So yeah, Iniesta was the uh, man of the match there with an 8.0. Maybe an underrated goal from him, to be honest. Like, I thought he was really good out there today. Um, Clichy, yeah, he was a little sloppy, to be fair. But it was just one game, and he played the whole game, which I wanted him to do, uh, just to test his uh, stamina um, capabilities. But maybe he might get another full game in the next one, so we'll see about that one. Buffon, um, yeah, we conceded, but he didn't really didn't have a whole lot to do, did he? Uh, Fabregas, brilliant as always in that midfield. Rooney, 5.5. He only had half a game, um, but he put away the penalty and whatnot. Babel was really good with an 8.0. Um, he didn't score, but he was creating the opportunities, and that's what the wingers kind of did. I mean, they get goals for themselves, but he also, you know, set up um, Schwartz. He set up Ronaldinho, which was great. Schwartz, um Got the opening goal of the game. He's in the right area at the right time. Ronaldinho at seven point oh. I tell you, if if he got another game, if he got another goal, I think he would have been man of the match. Honestly, um, I think he probably would have got like an eight, and he would have took it. I know one of the goals was a penalty, but he looked miles more confident, um, and just overall better. And it's due to the formation. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> um, few subs came on, but not enough time to really judge them. And that was that. Well, unfortunately, there's been a breakdown with Schneider. The Dijon one is actually because we got an offer for him and that didn't happen in the end. So there is that. We do have some results. What is it going to be? Cliche. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We just... What is it with teams trying to buy players that you've literally just acquired? I don't get it. There is an offer for Colicini from Birmingham, though. Now, that interests me because, well, they've been relegated, but if we do sell him, that opens up an opportunity to buy a player on a free. So, we're going to have to consider this. Well, I'm not expecting this to be a big offer from Birmingham. What is it exactly? 6,781 when he's worth 3,000 more than that. Yikes. I mean, it's it's an offer. He's 30. He's still very good for us. Hmm. He's still got two years left on his contract with us. Um, what is he actually currently earning? 792. Um, so that's something. We are not going to accept or refuse in this episode. We will do it in the next one and we'll tell you I mean to be honest if you, you don't even have to refuse you can just ignore it and it'll just be automatically refused but I'm considering that just because it would open up a slot in the team but then it means having to replace that defender I mean we do have replacements already we have Heitinger and we have company uh, the only little small problem you might want to say is that we don't really have um, don't really have anyone else to possibly play centre back. I mean we've got Van Dijk. Then again he's not meant to play there, is he? Um we have a sort of centre back problem. I mean you could put Mascherano there, honestly. I mean he did play, I think was it for Barca he played uh, centre back um uh I think all of about ten years or so ago now, wasn't it? Something like that. Um but um that's an opportunity. Dijon can actually play that. I don't really want to play Dijon at centre back, but it could be a, 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 an opportunity of like, okay, if we do play Dijon at centre back, Mascherano can play DMF, but we've also got Kaiser as well, who can fill in. Ideally I don't want to do that because I, I like the idea of Puyol and Colicini together regularly. 
but when we want to rotate them out we can swap them with heitinger and um where is he company i like that i like to do that i don't i i have to consider i ha i need a little time to get back to you on that one because i'm just like do we do we do we do we it's uh it's a crazy one to do, to do, come to a decision to. So, yeah, we will think about that and we'll make our decision in the next episode. And, um, yeah, the Schneider one didn't come back. We've got Martins there. We could trade him off. The question is, like, the whole Ronaldinho situation, you know, because he could play that side. You could have Ronaldo on the right. You could have Ronaldinho on the left, Torres in the middle, for example. You could swap Torres for... You know, Schwartz as a backup. Um, you know, Rooney could play there if you needed him to. We got Rooney could play on the wing as well if we really wanted him to. We got Babel who could do that. It's an idea, but you know, six one today, <laughs> six one. It's a brain scratcher. I really am thinking about this hard, and it's just so. Ah, it's just so. Uh, hey, Maxwell's on there. He's a uh, Pez six. He's at Ajax currently. Um, I think he's been added to this, so that's somebody. Oh, well, he's thirty-one though. Saying that, um, probably not somebody we want to add at this time. But um, in fact, what the, what was his stamina? Ninety-five. Oh my god, we could have bought him and put him at left back possibly. No, no, just forget it. Just forget it. He's open to negotiate, though. Where can he play? Let me have a look again. <laughs> uh, side, centre, wing-back. Oh. I mean, he's mostly preferred as a wing-back, but he can play, if you want him to, as a left-back. Hmm. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that in mind. I'm going to just add it to the list for now. And keep it in mind. We was looking at Chu Young the other week, wasn't we? Hmm. Um, future potential, anything different on here? Or, oh, Inzaghi. Oh, I think he must have negotiated with um, Milan then, by the looks of it. 496. He's only got two years. He's currently 17. I mean, we could go for that, but we could also go for Orellano, which has been said many times. Or, if we let Colaccini go... Do we go for Maldini? I know, I mean, well, he's 23, so he's, and his stats aren't fantastic, but it will improve, you know what I mean? And his mentality's good, teamwork's good. Um, you know I mean, he will imp obviously improve over time. I mean, his, his stats aren't far off being in sort of like the 80 zone overall. Um, and he'll probably get better and better from then on, obviously. So, you know what I mean? Some players develop, like, into their peak very late. You know what I mean? Everyone's different. That's an opportunity if we did sell Colaccini. So sell Colaccini and bring Maldini in possibly. That is an option. That is definitely an option. Um, I don't think there's really anything on here that we're that interested in. Xavi, we had him at one point, didn't we? But uh, Puello, Puello, 33, Barcelona, yeah. We had him at one point, but he, he, again, he was another one that just didn't really fit into the team very well kind of thing um yeah whoa what do we do it's a big question it's a big question that needs to be answered in the next episode next episode we're playing manchester city we're going to play at manchester city's ground for this one um because we haven't played there since season three that's a very long time ago it's like 2014 <laughs> so that's been a long long time um, and they still haven't been back promoted since they went down in season three, I believe. So, yeah, join us for that one next time, guys. Lots of questions to be answered. What do you think? Let's have your input too, if you want. Comment, subscribe, and share as always. See you then. Take care.